Well, scientific research has built up a large amount of knowledge about the crown of thorn starfish, so that's a native species on the Great Barrier Reef. We also know that it goes through large population fluctuations. It's a species called a boom and bust species, so it's a bit like locusts. Sometimes it's in populations are small, and other times the population explosion takes place. And since their sole food is coral flesh, that's when they do the greatest damage to reefs, especially the Great Barrier Reef. The crown of thorn starfish are responsible for about 40, 42% of the mortality that's been seen on the Great Barrier Reef over the last 30 years. So it's a very significant proportion of the damage that we see. Well, a crown of thorn starfish just looks like any other starfish, except it's got all these magnificent spikes on it. They're um, around about dinner plate size. They're going to eat a dinner plate full of, uh, of live coral polyps every day. We find them uh, stacked up three or four deep when they're aggregating. We had one reef that we took 80,000 crown of thorns off recently used science to improve the control method so that it now has only requires one injection to kill a crown of thorn starfish rather than in the past it would be 20 or 30 injections into each arm. Of the sites that have been controlled so far, there's something like 120 sites and actually coral cover has been maintained at more than around 90% of those sites which is a really important outcome. So that's important for the tourism industry, but it's also very important from protecting recovery of uh, coral reefs from other impacts that might be affecting them. We've got a, a team of 32 people doing the work uh, right now as we speak. We put a lot of time into training the divers so they won't break the coral, but also so they won't kneel on any crown of thorns. Maintaining the coral is the key. It's not how many crown of thorns do we, uh, do we kill, it's really how much coral can we protect and, uh, and how much will that benefit the reef in the, in the years to come. Of course, we've got to have good coral cover to have good spawning and good, good, good recruitment and uh, longevity on the reef. And that's part of what the, uh, this program with uh, working on Crown of Thorns is all about. It's the only mode of controlling them is by physically removing individuals or physically injecting lethal injections of individuals one by one. And when you have a population outbreak of millions, that takes a lot of effort. So our research is trying to focus on whether there's a more effective way, cost effective and both financially and labor, to cull large numbers of crown of thorn starfish when they're in an outbreak mode. It's a stunning and wonderful place to enjoy. And again, I think the crown of thorn starfish control program is one way that we can look to making sure that that kind of experience is available for all the millions of people that come to visit the reef every year and for generations to come. I love it and um, I love it because I know we're making a difference and, uh, and it's because of that and my staff just see that what we're doing we are protecting the reef and it's a good practical outcome. The reef is absolutely spectacular, one of seven, the seven natural wonders of the world and uh, it's been left in the hands of Australians to protect it and I'm very, very pleased to be one of those people who's out there practically delivering that.